when we don't fight our enemy we end up hurting our friends you know David eventually throws himself into the battle and he conquers the Goliath God shows his grace God delivers him but again this deliverance didn't happen because David was sprayed with the anointing water this deliverance happened David threw himself in a battle and for some people even to come for prayer with the anointing water actually is throwing themselves into the battle they, they feel like you know what there's so many people watching it, it takes a lot to overcome for them but for most of us you know praying in our own time fasting doing whatever it can to, to bring ourselves in that place where we say God I position myself in that place and David was a warrior all of his life but toward later part of his life David felt like I am creating my own excuse my, my own version now I think David felt like you know what I have achieved enough victory my family is safe I got a lot of money I got all the things that I wanted I don't need to fight no more I know God called me to fight I know God has chosen me to fight not just for myself but also for my people but my people are doing just fine I mean some of them are still suffering but everybody overall is doing fine I'm not gonna go to the battle I'm not gonna go fight the battle I am anointed to win I'm gonna stay home and chill so David stayed home and chilled and it's interesting as he avoided a battle God anointed him to win he unknowingly got into a battle where he had no anointing to overcome already a battle with lust a battle with things that are so contrary to David's nature David protected a man who wanted to kill him and now David is tempted to kill a man who protects him David is in the battle and he falls in that battle like a slave and that battle cripples his whole family child one by one begin to rebel against him and begin to die it unleashes a generational curse when you come to a point when your life gets somewhat okay when you come to a point when bills are paid you're comfortable with coming to church and you're like you know what this is a good place to be in it's also the most dangerous place to be in because when you and I think that God just gives us that power to fight for ourselves instead of just fighting for our city and we begin to settle and we say this whole fighting this whole demon thing that's for the crazy churches and so what we do is we settle and the battle creeps into our own bedroom except the battle we have no power over if there is one drug addict in Tri-Cities you have to fight if there is one sick person in the ER, you and I have a fight. If there is one person slipping into eternity tonight, you and I have a fight. If there is one girl holding a razor to her veins, you and I are in a war. It might not be your sister, it might not be your mother, it might not be your stepsister. But listen, it is someone God called you, anointed you to fight. And when you say, no, no, no Vlad, I'm too busy, I got college, this is not for me, this is what happens you will not avoid the fight you'll just be in one you will not win today I just want to challenge every person don't ever allow in your mind a thought to get comfortable in life we get comfortable when we breathe our last as long as you are on this earth even when you are on a vacation even when you are resting in the presence of God you are a soldier have your boots on your sword on always ready because you are in a battle a hundred thousand people in Shri cities are non-religious you are in a battle and just because you know our church has grown just because our influence has grown that means nothing for us it only to challenge and push us to run faster better and be more passionate than ever before for our generation can somebody say amen <laughs>